41 workers, one collapsed tunnel, and after 17 days, each one of them brought out safe and alive. What a visual as India erupted in joy. But it was also a mission that was being watched across the world. And now the question is being echoed. How did India pull this off? Remember, for the starters, 652 government employees at least from Uttarakhand state government to the NDRF, Border Roads Organization, many more from the private sector. Indian Armed Forces were fully involved also as always on the ground to assist. So all resources came together for this Uttarkashi rescue mission. But importantly, there were Made in America advanced machines that were brought in, international experts, the best and finest from within India too. But this mission's success truly showed what Indian Jugaad can successfully do. How? When nothing was working, challenges piled up, Indians switched on their creative light to innovate and invent throughout this process. And I say this with some responsibility. Yes, the best machines digging through the concrete. Australian tunnel expert based out of Geneva, Arnold Dix, led a brilliant operation. So did the micro-tunneling expert, Chris Cooper. But when they could not go further, when the best machines were not able to clear the debris anymore, and when time was running out, when hope was turning into despair, it was our Indian men with basic training, basic equipment with them charged on for 26 hours and cleared that last obstacle. They were sitting in waiting, waiting for the orders. But finally, in batches of five to six, these workers who were assigned one job, and that to clear the last challenge that nobody else is able to do. They are called the rat hole miners because they have to dig through the narrow passages like a burrow to clear the rocks, to clear the debris that machines were failing to do. Remember that time was running out. These workers may be skilled, but they had basic tools with them like a shovel, pickaxe and bags to keep the debris in. With this mission in mind, they went into the tunnel at 3 p.m. An 800 millimeter wide pipe was established for them, bigger than what they usually would work in. But by next day, within 24 hours, by 7.30 p.m., the confirmation had come that the final rock has been officially cleared because of these men. And they were the ones to see the trapped workers face for the first time in 17 days. Emotions were all over. There were hugs and happiness. Imagine that visual for a second. Not big machines, but a fellow worker kept digging through with a billion prayers behind him. And finally, they yielded that result and got the workers out. And then the NDRF personnel, one by one, evacuated each of them through that narrow passage. Today, therefore, you must know their name and remember their face. This final rescue was clearly visible, but Indians through these 17 days reminded to the world of